for the next Monarch's Journey, we're going to embark on the second day release, actually, for King Lilvillin. 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 The second, the great of Gwynedd. Over here in England. And these are the goals. We have already 63 points unlocked. So we got the cone-shaped Henin, which I think is the most important one to get. And we have still a bit to go to get the Joan of Arc. Um, but that's okay. That's perfectly all right. We'll, we'll get there eventually. 27 points. 47 for the Joan of Arc. Right, so what we need is control provinces, vassals of our dynasty, English spouses married to our children. So I attempted this before, we'll just restart. Set it as we always do, just to make sure all is in order here. And we'll start the Iron Man and we will override the previous save, which I had and had attempted to do before. So, if we look at this, we are independent of England. Uh, we do have one tributary here. It's this guy. And first, let's real quickly put down some focuses here. It doesn't really matter all that much. These are just some dynasty kids. I don't even know why that showed up. Um, right. So what we want to check is what do we need? We need to conquer Wales and completely control the following provinces. Right. Doesn't say we need to be the ruler of Wales. Just needs to just need to have control over everything. Now here it says you need to have the Kingdom of Wales. Uh, we need a lot of vassals of our own. Dynasty. It doesn't say we have to be only the King of Wales, but as we learned with Duke Coolin, this might mean we have to form Wales from the Intrigue tab. So we'll check that in a moment. And we need to marry our children and their spouses must be alive and they must be married to English people. So... This one only counts as long as we play him himself. So for this we're going to go with the seduction focus as well to generate as many kids as possible to hopefully survive a long time. Now, since we need to survive a long time, we are going to disallow ourselves from leading armies. We're going to use the seduction focus. And next what we need to do is... Well, we need alliances. England is pretty big and strong. We could attempt to just stand next to them. We could swear fealty. <clears throat> Excuse me. Which we might actually do. But first, let's check how do we found the kingdom of Wales. So apparently we don't need to have one of these decisions to use it. So what we're going to check is du jour and the Kingdom of Wales requires us to have the Duchy of Cornwall to have the Petty Kingdom of Well this basically <laughs> Dehu Barth I don't know what the hell that ever is. We need to hold the Duchy of Gwent, which I believe is this here. Yes, this is Duchy of Gwent. And we need to hold the petty kingdom of Gwynedd, which actually is this. And we need to hold the Duchy of Powys, which I believe is a title we can create, but we're not going to due to inheritances. We do hold the petty kingdom of Gwynedd. We do not hold any of these two, and of course not the Duchy of Cornwall, which also needs to be created still. So what we can see here now is the red one exists, but we can't create it because we don't control anything of it. The green one doesn't exist. Well, this one doesn't exist either. And we could create it because we hold everything that you need to create it, right? 
The white ones are already in existence, but they belong to other realms. Namely this guy, who is our tributary. Which breaks... Well, when we become part of a different realm. Well, it might, mustn't. So, what we're learning here is either... Let's see, what can we declare war on for him here? Okay, nothing interesting anyway. Can't declare war on him at all. So either we get an alliance with, say, the Holy Roman Empire, but even they are not really strong enough to deal with the English. So... It would be better for us to actually swear fealty to England. Can I try and deal with things in here? Grow a little. And then take over from the inside. So we don't have to worry about outside threats. We just need to deal with other dukes within the Kingdom of England. Now, England and Ireland are supposedly kind of starter islands as it is. Because the outside threats are very, very limited. There's no one going to come from the sea and just attack you, except for the Norwegians who mainly attack England itself. So becoming a vassal of England might be a good idea. Uh, especially since it might get rid of our relationship here. Now, first we set our crown focus. Next, we check our inheritance laws. Agnatic, Cognatic, Gavel kind, which of course not what we want. We want to have Primogeniture or Ultimogeniture or even Tanistry. Tanistry would also be just fine. Can we get it? No, everyone is against it. <laughs> That's fine. So we have a whole lot of titles to give away and things to make sure. So first we want to groom an heir. Second, we will swear fealty. Third, we will try with the strongest vassal of England, which right now, if you check the realm tree, should be Meath. Yes, it's the Irish. And we want to have a betrothal. Sadly, she's very young. But that doesn't matter all that much because we're going to go on a lover's spree anyway. So we'll get her to get ourselves an alliance with Meath already. So that's all fine. Next, of course, to start our seduction spree is we'll load this filter, which we've specifically created to seduce all the ladies on the land. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of 16-year-old girls out here. We're going to start upward from the 19-year-old. Everyone comes to court. Everyone comes to court. That could, would give us a good selection of potential lovers already that we can have. And we have these two counts here. We are not going to create a second duchy title unless we have an inheritance um, method that allows our successor to inherit everything. It's because if we were to create a duchy title, then it might splinter in the current succession laws. But this one is going to be a hard one because we need to survive at the very least until, if we check again, until four of our children are married to English people. So we have to survive at least for, let's say, around about 25 years or so, which should hopefully, with a good amount of lovers, give us enough time to sire the amount of children we need. So let's check out our opinion boxes here. This guy, court physician. This guy, master of horse. This guy, we want to really grease some palms around here. That's really important to us right now. Greasing palms. Nothing much more important there. Our uncle, the king's the kinslayer. Maybe we can get rid of him. Our cousin. Can we seduce her? Let's seduce our cousin. Let's start with her. That's just fantastic. 
Good. Okay. So you do this. No revolts going on anyway. So you just train. You collect. You do, do your things. It's all fine. Maybe we can get rid of our uncle. Oh no. So we have our demands is too big, which is bad. People do not like it. So we should give away one piece of what we have. Maybe this island here. 600 garrison. 500. 1000. 600. So if we give anything away, it's going to be this. Because... It has... Well, it's pretty wealthy though. We get 16, 15, 7. 16, 8, 9. Alright, we'll try to deal with the demand size. Maybe we can... Go for a higher centralization. Okay, people are for it. So that would give us... No malice here. This one will be harder to get anyway because people are really against it. These everyone is against. So let's first try and work toward removing the malices we have on opinions of people. Because if we check this, well, short reign is really the main issue. Let's unpause real quick and see if the demand size starts registering. And income all the little ladies ah okay he's still our tributary that's just fine it'll it'll finish eventually okay we, we are in no rush we in no rush want us to be a chancellor we will graciously accept Why is everyone so against everything here? I'll have to try and stack our council a bit. All right, let's let's just do anyway. I think people don't like us for it. Why aren't they? Okay, let's start seducing someone else. Not our mother, no. Let's start with the ladies we invited here. Where's our cousin? There she is. Now, we have a second cousin in our court. Oh, darn. Don't remember. Oh, no. How do we stop the seduction thing? Okay, we have a father and he has brothers. Stop seduction. Oh. Seduce the girls we invited. They should be a bit easier, which sounds terrible, but it's true. So we're going to start with the one that has the highest opinion of us as it is. Now. Oh, game. Are you doing this to me again? Sometimes you have to restart the game for certain options to even appear. It's very... it's quite annoying. I must say. But we'll see how it works out. But again, I would even take Tanistry, so I'm not... ...super... ...up 
I don't want the decentralized law, no, thank you. I'm not super fast. Since we can't take Tanistry, it's all good. What are you? Ambitious. So probably mead in the room. Very good. First lover secured. Okay, cool. So he has stepped out a line. And now we could go for border disputes, which cost us money. Way more than we can afford. So what we're going to do actually is we're going to take our counselor and fabricate us some claims here. This is what we're going to do. And we'll form an alliance with Meath. So we become a little bit stronger internally. And what we want is... I already forgot. <laughs> oh yes, let's switch our realm to be a little bit more centralized. We are allowed to hold the lands we hold and people stop bickering about it. Very good. Bolt risk, I pulled down there. Drag and drop it. Oh, lovely. Another feisty young woman. We'll make her a lady and keep her as our mistress. Another girl appears in our court. All right. Wait, she just appeared in our court? Nah. Disappeared on our court. Oh well, on to the next one anyway. I read that. Her, I believe. Okay, she already appeared as our lover, which is amazingly good. Ooh, look at her. Attractive, quick. Oh, she's good. She's a good one. Let's see. Let's seduce Margaret. And we'll try and do... Oh, the faithful prepare war. Sure, we will join the crusade. We'll choose a beneficiary. It will be our illustrious uncle. And our beneficiary will get all the titles. We don't want any of it. Okay, there's a vassalization war against these boys down there. England is really strong in this point in time. France, what happened to you? You're a shadow of your form. Well, they're actually pretty strong for how small they are. And Brittany. Brittany, brave Brittany. Just sitting out there, doing its own thing. Oh, we could seduce her. Can we seduce multiple people? Can we? I thought we can always do one. Let's see. What happened here? Or should we refuse our seduction? You can leave the court then. Bye bye. Uh, but we we should we should seduce someone more sensible than her. Um. Let's unpause real quick so the game can understand that we are free to seduce again. When does the crusade start? I want to get in it early for once, so we actually arrive before things go wrong. She might come to our room. Yes, and 
So she does. So apparently, the English girls are easily swayed by asking them to join you in your room. Oh no. We are now a known adulterer. But we also get court tomcat, which is nice. Oh, we're not actually a known, known adulterer. You don't know anything about us yet. Poor little girl. Okay, what are you? You're brave and everything. Let's try a lewd suggestion. Nope. This one might be difficult. He does like us. Not enough yet. And the first lover is pregnant. Perfect. Let's ask her... Oh, she doesn't want to see us by the stream. Well, that one is really a difficult one. Usually they always come to the stream, at least. So in two years, there's going to be a crusade, which we're going to try and exploit. It's... Oh! I really want to. Okay, we'll leave her yearning for more. Raising her opinion of us. Which is now at 100, so the next seduction attempt should work, because she's yearning for us. And now we're at There Is No Rush. Have you heard about our monarch's journey, my boy? There is a rush. Why so far? Okay, I uh, will go find another target then. I don't understand what went wrong there. But that's okay. So seduce the next girl. And then we'll just circle back to the other one. First kid on our way, which is good. Okay, we could offer our liege to tutor him. And... He accepts. Now he owes us a favor. What can we do with a favor from the king? On aggression pact. Eh. And we force him to initiate voting or something? Yeah, we could initiate a vote by using our favor. So he wouldn't be allowed to grant titles anymore without council consideration. Oh, interesting. We're never allowed to vote on this. Well, only if he initiates. So we could make him weaker. Should we? Nah, we'll leave it for now. Who knows when it comes in handy. Okay, we have an issue right now with our seduction attempts. We are improving relationships down here for him. So we need to find someone here to seduce. If that even works, I don't even know. I think we might only be allowed to seduce at our court. So we need to... Stop the seduction here. Then we need to check his court. There was a 16 year old down here. And we can't seduce her. So what we need to do really 
is honestly we need to resign from the court. From the council. I mean. Okay, he doesn't want to go into a non-aggression pact with us. Not going to like it if we resign from his council. Not going to like that at all. But at least we can continue our great seduction, which is much more important than everything else. Quite honestly. Alright, let's see. Now the seduction should go on. And there... I mean, today, long-distance relationships are much more feasible than they were back then. They are still quite hard, especially with uh, international travel being suspended right now. But they're much more feasible than they were back then.